Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala khatemil enbiya ve mursalin nebiyyina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. This is section 3.4, uh, the chain rule. The chain rule enables us to find the derivative of the composite function. So, if we have a function f of g of x then the question how to how to find the derivative of this function and the derivative would be f prime at g of x so the derivative of the outer function times the derivative of the inner function which is g prime of x uh, let me give you an example here for example how to find the derivative of this function well this is a composition function I have the square root function and x squared plus 1 is a function inside the square root function <clears throat> so we know that the derivative of square root of x or d d by dx of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x so this if we have x here this is a square root of x function but if we have x square plus 1 inside the square root so how to find f prime and the chain rule says that f prime of x would be you find the derivative of the outer function and the outer function here is the square root the derivative of the square root is 1 over 2 times the square root and then you multiply by the derivative of the inner function inside the square root which is x squared plus 1 and the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x and then you can cancel 2 with 2 and write the final answer as this so this is the chain rule also you can talk about uh, the chain rule in another way if you which is the inner function is written as g of x and y which is the outer function is written as function of u f of u then to find dy by dx y is written in terms of u u is written in terms of x so how to find the derivative of y with respect to x dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx so in this example, also we can use this notation by writing u equals x squared plus 1, the inner function. And y would be square root of u, that's the outer function. And now to find dy by dx, this is equal to dy by du times du by dx and dy by du means we find the derivative of y with respect to u so the derivative of square root of u is 1 over 2 times square root of u times the derivative of u with respect to x dy du by dx would be derivative of this of x squared plus 1 which is 2x and then you can replace u by its value u is x, x squared plus 1 times 2x and 2 cancels with 2 and you get the same answer so either you use this notation Leibniz notation or this formula you will get the same answer so notice here f of g of x f is the outer function 
uh, evaluated at the inner function to find the derivative. We find the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. So this is how we use the chain rule. So you can write all the previous formulas using the chain rule. For example, you can say d by dx of u to the power n, where u is a function of x, is n times u to the power n minus 1. That's the usual derivative times u prime. You can say that when u prime is du by dx. You can say that d by dx of uh, negative 1 over uh, of 1 over u of 1 over u. What is the derivative of 1 over x? It is negative 1 over x square. So here u square times the derivative of u u prime. So you just write all the previous formulas but you multiply by u prime which is the derivative of the inner function so for example d by dx of tan u the derivative of tan is secant square u times the derivative of u which is u prime for example the derivative of e to the power u would be the same times u prime and you can write all the previous formulas using the chain rule like this. So for example, the derivative of sine x square would be the outer function is sine. So the derivative of sine is cosine evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function, which is 2x. And you can write it in this form if you like. Now here, sine square x is actually sine x to the power 2. So this square, sine square means sine times sine. So here, the outer function is the, the square, parenthesis to the power 2. So it's u to the power 2. So the derivative is 2 times sine x to the power 1. Now time is the derivative of the inner function, which is sine x. The derivative of sine is cosine. So the answer is 2 sine x cosine x. So this is uh, the power rule using chain rule. Okay, u to the power n, n u n minus 1 times du by dx. So for example here, this is the power rule. So what would be y prime? It would be the derivative of the outer function, which is the power. So 100x to the power 3 minus 1 times 100 minus 1, which is 99, times the derivative of the inner function. And the derivative of x cubed minus 1 is 3x squared. So the final answer would be 300x squared times x cubed minus 1 to the power 99. I have a cube root here. So first I will write it as x squared plus x plus 1 to the power. Here it's to the power 1 over 3, but if you take it up, it would be to the power negative 1 over 3. So f prime of x using the power rule would be negative 1 over 3 times x squared plus x plus 1 to the power a negative 1 over 3 minus 1 or negative 4 over 3. So this is the derivative of the outer function. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inner function. And then I can write it at the end as negative 2x plus 1 all over 3 
and x square plus x plus 1 to the power 4 over 3. Okay, so that's the final answer. Find the derivative of this function. Well, also this is, the outer function is the power. So g prime of t would be 9 times t minus 2 over 2t plus 1 to the power 9 minus 1, 8. And then times the derivative of the inner function. But the inner function is quotient, so we use quotient rule. So here I have 2t plus 1 to the power 2. The derivative of the numerator is 1 times 2t plus 1 minus the derivative of the denominator, which is 2 times t minus 2. And to simplify, this is negative 2t plus 4. Negative 2t cancels with 2t. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 times 9 is 45. So I have 45 over 2t plus 1 to the power 2. times t minus 2 times 2t plus 1 all to the power 8. All right. Yeah. Differentiate. What do we have here? Well, I have multiplication product between two functions. And to find the derivative, I use the product rule. And product rule says, the derivative of f times g is f prime times g plus f times g prime. So the derivative of the first function, now the first function, I use the power rule, chain rule. So it's 5 times 2x plus 1 to the power 4 times the derivative of 2x plus 1, which is 2, times the second function. and then plus the derivative of the second function, which is 4 times x cubed minus x plus 1 to the power 3 times the derivative of the inner function, which is 3x squared minus 1. This is all. All of this is the derivative of the second function using the chain rule. And now times 2x plus 1 to the power 5. All right. And I will just leave it uh, like this. Although I can take a common factor, but uh, yeah, there is no big benefit from expanding or taking a common factor. What is the derivative of this function? Well, y prime is, the, using the chain rule, the outer function is e sine x. So the derivative of e is same times the derivative of the inner, which is sine x. Derivative of sine is cosine, so that's the answer. Here, see the composition? The composition of three functions here. So f prime of x would be derivative of the outer function, derivative of sine, it is cosine, evaluated at the inner functions, times, now the derivative of cosine, the inner function, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine, evaluated at tan x, times the derivative of tan x, which is secant square x. If you want, you can uh, take the minus outside or you just leave it like this. That's the answer. Well, y prime here is, this is e, so the derivative of e is e 
times the derivative of the inner function, which is secant. The derivative of secant is secant tan evaluated at 3 theta, and then times the derivative of 3 theta, which is 3, and I will write 3 here. So that's the answer. Now, what is the derivative of general exponential functions? We know that derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. So the derivative of b to the power x is b to the power x times ln b. So for example, the derivative of t to the power x would be 2 to the power x times ln 2. Using the chain rule, I can find the derivative of b to the power u now, and the derivative would be b to the power u times ln b, but times u prime, or du by dx. Okay, u prime here means du by dx. So for example, 5x squared, here h prime of x would be 5 to the power x squared times ln 5 times the derivative of the inner function, which is x squared, and the derivative of x squared is just 2x. That's the end of the section. Hopefully you understand the chain rule.